welcome back to Pow Science. My name is Mr. Miles. I'll be your Pow Science scientist. I have just driven about 20 minutes down south on the highway to Matunic to Trustum Pond, which is one of my favorite nature reserves of all time. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to take us out of the car and we're going to explore some of the things that I've found here at Trustum Pond and we're going to make a little scavenger hunt out of it. So everything that I'm going to show you here can be found easily around Trustum Pond. However, it can also be found elsewhere, so feel free to take a look in your local pond or somewhere a little bit closer if you like. But I will warn you, it might be hard to find everything on this list all in the same place outside of Trustum Pond. Because one of the things I love so much about this place is that it is a very, very well-protected nature reserve. And there are a lot of really beautiful things growing and living here. So, if you are ready to see some really cool nature, keep on watching. And before we get started, let me tell you one other thing. Even on a nature reserve, litter! Despicable! As a little bonus game, you get bonus points on the scavenger hunt if you pick up any trash. The first plant on our list is milkweed. So milkweed you can find in these nice big open areas here at Trustum Pond. And it's growing all over the place, it's all over the sides of the path, and it's very very easy to recognize. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and show you some of the ways to identify it. So milkweed is pretty easy to spot because it has a very distinctive kind of cross formation of its leaves. And also, the leaves are a little bit fuzzy. Not quite fuzzy like an animal, but still a little bit fuzzier than normal leaves. And the final thing is that if you give the vein a little pinch with your fingernail, it oozes white slime. So this white slime is a glue that defends it against caterpillars that like to eat it. But it doesn't fully work on all the caterpillars because the most famous caterpillar of all time, the monarch butterfly caterpillar, eats nothing but milkweed. So I don't think we're going to find any uh, caterpillars out today. I haven't seen any this year. I did see one adult flooding around. So um, we might either be too early or it might be an off year in terms of their migration. So don't count on seeing the caterpillars, but you can definitely at least find the milkweed. So our next item on our list is a little bit difficult to see with the phone camera, so I'm going to try to throw up some footage uh, that I took with my camera camera. Um, and these are going to be whirligig beetles. So you can see whirligig beetles as little tiny spots that are kind of skittering right across the surface of the water. So they're easy to spot if you look for the ripples, and then you can also just see them kind of zip, 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 zip zipping around all on the surface of the pond. So these are actually aquatic beetles, so they are insects, but they live in the water. So our next item is yet another plant. Now this time it's a little bit harder to find, a little bit rarer. I don't think they're like crazily rare or anything, but I've only managed to find them in this one sort of spot here. So I'm going to throw up a picture with the nearest signs to me to sort of show you pretty much exactly where I am if you decide to come to Truston Park and see it too. So this plant is called Jack in the Pulpit. So I was fooled and I thought that it must be a pitcher plant because, oh look, it has a sort of pitcher shape to its flower. But this is actually not a pitcher plant because pitcher plants use their pitchers to attract insects to eat them. They're carnivorous plants, kind of like Venus flytraps. Jack in the pulpit also attracts insects, but it only wants the insects to pollinate. So insects don't actually get eaten by Jack in the pulpit. So you can spot Jack in the pulpit by these distinctive sort of pitcher looking flowers. And they also are going to have a stem right next to it that's got exactly three leaves. So our next thing is kind of far away in the distance. I am actually at the pond part of Trustum Pond. You can actually see the little swan I'm about to point out in just a second. Sorry in advance for the camera shaking. I am clearly an amateur at this, but this is the mute swan. So it might look beautiful, but the mute swan is actually like a total jerk. It's super invasive. It comes into other birds' natural habitats, takes all their food, bullies them out. So this swan is bad news. That said, it is still really, really pretty to watch. So our last thing for today is another plant thing, and this one isn't quite so specific, um, mostly because I don't know all the names of all the species, but I still think it's really, really cool to look at. So the thing I want you to take a look for is look for flowering grass. So we have grass in our yards, of course, but we always mow our lawns. So we never actually get to see the flowers on grass, and grass actually makes some pretty cool flowers. They're just really, really small. So I want to go ahead and throw up a few pictures of some of the types of flowering grass that I have seen today at Trustum Pond, and hopefully you will find many more of your own. There are many, many different kinds of flowering grass. This is just a few of them, and I think they're really cool. 